Hello, how's it going? I'm Torfin um, from Scotland and um, and was lucky enough to have found Alex who is now um, providing me with a passage over to Cape Verde. Yep, we're about to sail off. We accomplished a lot here, but the adventure is just beginning. Everything is coming together here in Senegal. Uh, Arona did an incredible job on the Perkins and Simone the diesel. Amazing. It's not leaking any more oil in, and uh, it's running just beautifully. So I just got a couple more things that I'm waiting for, but mainly here now is the, um, the main sail I'm going to put up because it's not too windy. But man, man, check this out. It is so dusty. It's all Ugh. I'm glad to get out of here, just to get away from the dust. It's awful, awful, awful. Look at this. We needed to check out with the authorities, and on the way, we stopped for breakfast. I'm here reporting from the fishing village with uh, Torfin. His favorite breakfast place here. Hello, stomping ground, you know. <laughs> Everybody knows we are in Jamaican, let's get that same Pretty good, let's see. So it's pani acra, bread and acra, which is pretty much bread and bread. <laughs> <laughs> bread with some fried dough balls and onion relish. So. Oh, it looks pretty good, man. Not the most healthy, but yeah, I'm looking forward. So how's the sandwich, man? Ah, amazing, man. <laughs> Cheers. Can I try a bite? Yeah, succulent. Yeah. Not bad, especially when you're hungry and you haven't had breakfast. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> We bought a few provisions at the supermarket and I thought it would be best if we had food prepared for our passage. It would be much tastier and cheaper. And this is mom and the boss. Huh? Eh, magnifique. isn't she beautiful? Merci. This is my friend who will make voyage. Kadia is going to make us food for the trip. Saga, saga, and ya está. Yep. Very neat onions here. Very sweet, very cool. Dad did the nam frying. Delicious spring rolls. Ta soeur, elle vient pour travailler? Elle est partie à Bambé pour les études. Ah, ok. Qu'est-ce qu'elle va étudier? Comptable. Comptable? Ouais. Ah, elle va s'occuper de l'argent ici? Badou va nous faire un café tout bas. Elle s'a petit petit radi. Ah, elle fait un sourire, Radhi. Radhi va nous dire bonjour. Tout le monde va me manquer. Ah, moi aussi, hein? Ouais. Alex, il faut lui acheter quelque chose. Tu vois son TikTok vidéo, elle est beautiful. Hey, TikTok? Ouais, c'est belle dans tes vidéos TikTok. Hey! Eh oui. Alphonse, il est très méchant. Ah, 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 I bought her a five buck ring from Alphonse. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Mama Nuga. Oui. Mama Nuga. Nuga. She has the best peanuts and the oui, best oui, peanut, oui. peanut, ah, peanut ah, brittle. Peanut. <laughs> huh? Mama Nuga. Mama Nuga is here. You can la la C'est Mama Tissu qui est là-bas. Mama Tissu. Who has the best peanuts here? Wow. Okay, we got one more person to say goodbye to. My great friend, Havona, who did wonders with my deaf teams. <laughs> Helped me out. He's the best. I'm going to miss him. And hopefully when I come back, he's going to show me his new house on the beach. Merci, Havona. So it's Saga Saga. They prepared enough food for the three-day passage, all for about 30 bucks, including a good tip. Okay, here we go. We're off Dakar to Mindelo. And it started off with two hitches. Windless didn't work. We had to uh, lift the anchor by hand. We're off. And now, my autopilot controller is giving me problems. It's not working right. But I can uh, turn on and off the autopilot from the char plotter here. So we'll do okay. And I've got a good hand with me. So 
We got a good crew. Good crew. Sailing away. My crew member there, Torfin, he looks right at home. He's not cold. I asked him, aren't you cold? He goes, I'm Scottish. <laughs> He's a sailor and uh, doing great at helming. Yeah, six. Oh, 6.8. Yeah, yeah, no, we're doing good. <laughs> it's a little windy, we're coming out of here. Got three reefs up on both sails. It's gonna be windy, maybe 25 knots, maybe more, near the coast here. And then uh, it should settle. He's got too much sail. He's got all his sails up, dude. <laughs> Shit. Oh, he's flying. Yeah. We left in the afternoon hoping to beat the fishermen who go out before nightfall. But there they were already, spreading their nets, which we had to get around. We couldn't get around them all, so I decided to just go over them. At five knot speed, we just barely scraped over. There were many, into the night, and out in the open ocean. It was super freaking stressful. It's been a pretty wild ride, right, Torfin, last night? Yeah, pretty wild, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Out here in Africa. Oh, man. We had some autopilot problems, but this time not the actual mechanism, it was the controller. It's confused, it's like it's on an LSD trip or had too much dust or something like that. It just isn't um, cooperating. We can uh, manage the autopilot from down on the chart plotter down below, but it seems like it's, I don't know. Oh, and we had several fishermen incidents, right? Oh god, yeah. They're everywhere. Unavoidable. Oh man. We went over several lines and you could hear them when you heard across all the way across the bottom of the goes like and then get stuck on the ground and it goes like a freaking elastic, like like a bow and arrow, you know, the bow kind of was like a little freaky. I've come to the conclusion that they're out to catch us. Yeah. They're out to catch us, exactly. So the night was just not not that fun, but we managed to get some rest. Torfin said he slept like he's never slept before on a boat. So, and now we're helming some, giving Galapan the autopilot a rest, because the sea's really, oh, something else out here. The sea state has been crazy. About halfway there between Dakar and Boa Vista. So, hopefully tomorrow, uh, in the afternoon, we'll see land. Inshallah. Fox has not been a lot of fun. I got my uh, autopilot fixed mechanically, but now electronically it's all messed up. The um, pilot head and controller is just not, not functioning and it keeps acting up when I try to engage the pilot here through the um, char plotter, which I can. But it keeps doing things, it's not fun, it's, it sucks. Right now, uh, Torfin is helming, thank goodness. We can get some more um, better time. Last night was okay. I tied up the bungee cord and Sammy had the pilot going. Curled up. 
to Genoa to three reefs and it was a decent night. But now it's the wind's back up to 20 knots, man. Yeah. It's tough. It's really tough. Honestly, man, this is uh, this is really hard sailing. I got some leaks and stuff coming in. A little bit down, sorry guys, but I just cleaned up to see if I can punch up something with this controller. So I can at least turn on and off. That's what it was doing before, that's all. That was enough. No, it's not doing that. The control unit shite the bed. At one point it tacked the boat into a huge wave and didn't release. I heard the belt growling in the distress of the motor, and that was that. The belt didn't hold anymore. From now on, it would be Torfin, me, and bungee cords I would keep Galopin on course. You got some color, Torfin. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, you're like... <laughs> yeah. Okay, virgins are like, man, Alex, why are you so red? <laughs> so, Torfin. Why did you decide to take a bicycle all the way down to Senegal? Ah, very good question. Uh, because I'm crazy, I think would be the short answer. But um, really just to discover places that I've never seen before. I don't really, I've not even heard of before. Mauritania. It's under the radar. Nobody knows that. Um, all right, that's, that's good enough. Thanks for coming aboard Gatapine Winded Voyage. This is our studios. You know, it's the good people on Patreon who are making this happen and keeping us afloat. Hope you'll join our community there. Uh, we've got a lot of cool extra perks this year, like live updates, news, photos, videos, and I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories which are not for general audiences on YouTube. Plus, our friend and patron Graham started a WhatsApp chat that he aptly called Galopin's Cockpit. Guys from all over have joined, and we can talk and chat uncensored, say whatever we want, and discuss anything. And it's this community that's contributing to the continuation of this Living Adventure series. Or you can watch for free on YouTube, just make sure to give us a like or dislike or leave a comment, and definitely subscribe. So thanks for coming along on Winded Voyage, man.